Hi guys, it's Kim Ball from deliberatemovement.blogspot.com and I am in the office of the gym this week, this month actually, because it's January and the gym is packed so it's kind of loud out there and um, I've decided to come into a quieter area. So I'm going to talk about my uh, pet peeve today. Um, it's about the stomach, just like last week. I am going to talk about the fact that there are people out there that still do tons and tons and tons of, cr of crunches for abdominal strength and for to try and you know spot reduce fat off of their stomach this is ridiculous okay number one crunches are not the most effective exercise for your stomach your body your stomach doesn't just flex the torso forward that's not the only thing that it does it rotates the torso it helps to stop the torso from rotating when you're doing something that has acceleration in it so that you can protect your lower back it helps to stabilize your body when you're lifting something heavy so doing an exercise where you're just contracting the stomach muscles and holding it is a great way to teach your body how to stabilize the muscles or to work on abdominal stamina too um, second of all you cannot spot reduce the fat off of your stomach by working the muscles in your stomach. You can't spot reduce any part of your body by working that part of your body. The way you get the fat off of your stomach is by eating correctly and by employing a bunch of different activities um, into, your, into your week, into your lifestyle. Being very active and eating well. That's how you're going to become lean and kind of peel off the layers of the onion, so to speak. Um, and get the, the layers of fat off your body, not by doing crunches. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you a few of my favorite abdominal exercises. They are not crunches. Okay guys, these are my five favorite abdominal exercises that are not crunches. Number one, the plank. On your elbows and your toes. Or on your hands and your toes. Or different versions of the plank. Like with your elbows on a ball. Or your elbows on a ball and your feet up on a higher surface. The second exercise is a side plank or side plank variations. You can have your feet stacked, you can have one in front of the other, doesn't really matter, or you can do some sort of rotational movement to increase the intensity. Number three, bicycle. This really gets the oblique muscles. And as long as you keep your shoulders up off the floor, then you'll really get all of the muscles in your stomach. Number four, um, any sort of plank with a movement in it. So let's say um, on your hands and knees, or hands and toes, and moving your hands. See, I'm not going like this. I'm not moving my whole body. I'm keeping my stomach tight and moving my hands. Or any sort of leg movement. Holding it like that. Doing Spider-Man crawl. Anything where you're in a plank position and you're moving other parts of your body. Um, you could get into a plank position and do punches. I had a friend show me that um, lately and it was a uh, it's a great exercise. And the fifth one is using the ball. Let me go grab my ball again. And getting into a push-up position. And bringing the knees in and out. Or bringing the knees in and out while rotating. Or bringing the hips up like so, kind of a pike up. Here's another angle. So that type of exercise is almost like a plank with a movement yet again. 
So, those are my five favorite exercises off the top of my head.